Hello guys, welcome to another video from Phuket. I have spent more than six months here and in this video I will list 12 must visit Phuket beaches for you guys. So without further ado, let's jump into the video with Thailand intro. Welcome to Larry Discover Thailand series. I have traveled all over Thailand for 12 months and in this Thailand travel guide series we will feed monkeys, swim with sharks and of course we will get to know the elephants, enjoy the beaches, hike mountains, we will also join the biggest water fight in the world. If you want to see all these and more, make sure you subscribe now and ring the bell to discover all about Thailand for free. Some of the Phuket beaches that I will talk about you might never heard of but you don't need to worry because I will also talk about what they are good for. As a general I will separate Phuket beaches into three different categories. First category will be underwater life. So is it good for snorkeling? Is there lots of fishes around? Second category will be the beauty of the beach itself. So is the sun is nice or the sea is nice? And the third category is the surrounding area of the beach. So is there lots of things to do or see around the beach? One of my favorite things to do in the summer is snorkeling. That's why I want to start this video with category one, where we're going to talk about underwater life. If you are visiting Phuket and if you enjoy snorkeling like me, the first beach you should visit is Ausain Beach. It locates at southwest coast of Phuket and it's really close to Nayahan Beach. Ausain Beach is a bit secluded compared to other Phuket beaches because you will have to drive through hotel car park and other stuff to be able to arrive here. So unless you're looking for Ausain Beach specifically, it's not likely that you will come across as you're driving around. The beach itself is pretty small, it's around 200 meters and it's not really touristic compared to the other beaches in Phuket. So when you come here, there is not that many facilities available. There is no water sports, sunbeds or this kind of stuff. There is one restaurant that you can grab something to eat and drink, but that's pretty much it. I advise you to come to our same beach purely for snorkeling. If you don't like snorkeling, don't come here because it is really rocky and there are lots of corals. So even for entrance to the sea, it might be tough, especially for people like me who doesn't want to step on the corals to not harm them. It is a bit hard to get in. Once it's deep enough, then you can relax and enjoy your snorkeling. There are many fish here in various sizes and colors. And more especially, I never seen that many sea stars in one place as well. Also, if you want to go for diving, there is a small diving school here. If you want to go for diving, you can speak with them and they will arrange it for you. And also I heard that you might be able to rent snorkeling gear from this um, diving school as well but I'm not sure about this information because when I went there I bring my own goggle and all this snorkeling equipment so I didn't need it to ask it. If you want to stay around Ausain Beach there are a few bungalows available which I will put the link below and I will also put the link below from my vlog when I visit Ausain so you can find out more information. Actually I will put the vlog for each beach that I'm talking about so you can get more information. Next Phuket beach to visit for snorkeling is Paradise Beach. Paradise Beach locates only around 8 minutes away from Patong Beach. This is a private beach so it's not free entrance, you have to pay for entrance but when I went there first time it was around 4 or 5 in the evening and they told us because the sun is close to setting they didn't get money from us I don't know if this was my luck or this is a regular policy but just to share with you. When it comes to the beach it is pretty small but because it's a private place there are lots of facilities available. The location of Paradise Beach is a bit remote and it's not that easy to find but thanks to Google map nowadays it's pretty easy to reach there. Also if you're not driving yourself there is a free shuttle service that you can take to arrive to Paradise Beach as well. This beach is getting really popular recently because the full moon party version of Phuket happens in this beach in a special date for the evening. And due to that, as it's getting more popular in the high season, the beach might be crowded. If you walk up the hill right next to the beach, there is also a small viewpoint. This is not an amazing viewpoint, but it is decent enough to check it out. And of course, the snorkeling in the beach is beautiful. There are lots of fishes in different colors, lots of corals to check out. And one thing I really like about Paradise Beach is that they had floating pontoon. So I didn't have to swim all the way into the deep. I just used this floating pontoon to walk until the end 
and jumped from there to snorkel and straight away the fish and the underwater life was waiting for me. And lastly for category number one is Yanui Beach. Yanui Beach locates at south part of Phuket. It is really close to Promtop Cape and Windmill Wee Point which are one of the most popular wee points in Phuket. It is also really close to Naihan Beach as well. Yanui Beach is pretty small. It's only around 100 meters and it can get pretty crowded in the high season. Also, there is rock formation in the middle of the beach, which makes it look like two separate beaches. And around the beach, there are a few cafes and restaurants that you can grab some food and drink as well. When you come to Yanui Beach, you will see there is one island straight ahead of it, which is called Komen. And there are two, three more islands in the distance as well. When we went there, we rented a kayak to explore around Komen and afterwards some of our friends continued to explore other islands but instead we spent our time watching the sunset in the middle of the sea. And of course when it comes to snorkeling it was amazing. When we took the kayaks and started kayaking around Komen, we stopped for swimming and there was hundreds of these colorful fish swimming around us together with us and they were so comfortable with people, I guess they get used to it because I even tried to put a bread in my mouth and they were coming and eating. Actually, instead of trying to explain it to you by words, I will put the footage here where you can watch it yourself from my vlog in Yanui Beach. <laughs> they eat it from above. <laughs> they eat it. They can't bite it from above. Yeah, that's that great. Is <laughs> there are some more snorkeling beaches around Phuket, but these three are my favorite. That's why I wanted to share them. So now let's talk about category two. These Phuket beaches are on my list purely because of the beauty of the beach. The first Phuket beach in category two is Bangtao Beach. Bangtao Beach locates at west coast of Phuket. It is around 6 kilometers and it is one of the longest beach in Phuket. There are many high-end hotels in this area, including Laguna Phuket, which is one of Asia's largest resort complexes. Majority of these hotels locate toward the southern end of the beach. If you go towards the northern end, it is still pretty deserted. This beach has beautiful soft white sand and there are lots of trees along the beach that you can use for shade as well. And the beach itself is pretty away from the roads, so once you are here, you will not be hearing the chaos of Phuket. And if you want to get a sunbed, then you might want to walk around and find some sunbed section. There are a few sections like that, but majority is without sunbed. And also some of these sunbeds might be only for hotel guests as well. Keep that in mind. If you are spending your day around the hotel's area, there will be lots of places that you can grab a drink or food. But if you decide to move towards the deserted area, these options will be much more limited. The sea in Bangtao Beach is pretty calm and clear between November and April. This is the best time to visit for families. And if you are into surfing, the waves will be waiting for you here from May till October. The waves get bigger as you go towards the north section of the beach. And if you are not into surfing, the water in the middle is calmer compared to the northern section. And also, as the sun is setting, you can use the restaurants along the beach to enjoy this evening. And throughout the day, you can check out the lake as well. There is a beautiful lake here that you can walk around and take some pictures. The next one I want to mention is Maikau Beach. Maikau Beach locates on northwest coast of Phuket. This beach is 11 kilometers long and it is part of Sirina National Park. Due to that, Maikau Beach is underdeveloped. Despite being a national park, if you want to stay here, you can still find some resorts to stay around this area. Just keep in mind, if you are staying around this area, there is not many things to do and see. But one thing that you should definitely check out is the airport section. As you're tanning and swimming, you can see the planes landing to the airport. The sand in Maikau Beach is not the best, but if you want to escape from chaos and just relax in nature, this is a pretty nice beach to visit. Next beach in category 2 is Katanoi Beach. It locates on west coast of Phuket. Katanoi Beach is a beautiful small bay really close to popular Kata Beach. It has really soft sand and beautiful scenery. Towards the end of the beach, there are rocky sections which offers decent snorkeling, but in the middle section, there is no rocks, so you can enjoy the beach without any worry. 
The sea here is pretty calm and clear from November till April. Especially if you're staying around Kata Beach area, it can get really crowded in Kata Beach. And this is a really nice escape. Although it can get crowded, it's definitely less crowded compared to Kata Beach. Katanoi Beach is pretty popular beach, so there are all the facilities that you're looking for. There are sunbeds, massage section, cafes, restaurants, and everything that you might be interested in as you are in holiday. There are also some sunset restaurants really close to this beach. Even if you're not visiting Katanoi or Kata Beach, you should check out these sunset restaurants because the view here is absolutely stunning. The last beach for this section is Naiharn Beach. It locates at south of Phuket. I already mentioned the name of Naiharn Beach because it locates between Yanui and Ausain Beach. Naiharn Beach is not really a big beach, but it's not small either. So it's kind of like medium sized beach and it's not really deserted. So there are cafes, restaurants, sunbeds, water sports, everything that you're looking for, you probably can find it here. The beach itself has really nice sun and really clear water as well. And while you are here, you can see the luxury yachts anchored in the distance as well. So far, if you find this video useful, please click the like button so the YouTube will show it to the others as well. And if you want to support me personally, my donation link will be in the description as well. Now let's get into category three beaches. First one I want to talk about is Rawai Beach. It locates at south end of Phuket. But I have to tell you straight away, Rawai Beach is not really good for swimming. It's really rocky, really, really dirty, and there are lots of long tail boats going around constantly as well. But you should definitely visit this area because it is totally different than what you would see in other parts of Phuket. It's like small fisherman's town. You can see the Thai kids playing football on the beach, the other kids trying to get seashells to sell or eat. So it's different experience to visit here. There is also Rawai seafood market here where you can buy fresh seafood. And if you're wondering why would I buy fresh seafood, I don't want to cook in my holiday, don't worry because they sell them on one side of the street and opposite side are the restaurants where you can bring this fresh seafood and they will cook it for you for a small fee. If you drive away from Rawai seafood market along the beach, you will see in the distance there will be few other cafes this section is much more quiet where you can sit by the sea with a beautiful view enjoy your dinner or your lunch before you continue to visit other part of Phuket next Phuket beaches in my list are Kata Beach and Patong Beach I will talk about them together because they offer the same thing there are many restaurants, cafes and everything that you're looking for in these areas. Patong Beach and Kata Beach are one of the most popular touristic areas in Phuket and that's why it can get really overcrowded but it's still worth visiting these beaches. If I had to compare these two, I would prefer Kata Beach. I think it's much more nicer. But if you're planning to come to Patong Beach, I advise you to not go to the center where it's close to the Bangla Road. The water here is not clean, it's a bit dirty and it's the overcrowded section of the beach as well. When I go to Patong Beach, I like to go towards the north end of the beach where the water is clear. Although it is still crowded, it is less crowded compared to the middle section of the beach. In Qatar, the sea is really clear. And if you want to go for surfing, there are lots of stalls that you can rent surfboard for a decent price. Just keep in mind the waves are nice from November till April. Also, as a general, without any specific category, you can also check out Karen Beach and Surin Beach. These are nice beaches in Phuket to check out, but they didn't make into my list. So if you want to find out more information about them, you will have to check it online. As you're watching this video, I assume you are interested with Thailand. So I'll put my Thailand playlist here. Make sure to check it out. There are lots of interesting and entertaining videos for you to watch. So hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.